Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Mafia games I found for Java. Keep in mind that this video doesn't cover all of the Mafia games out there, because the Java platform has many games and clones, so most probably I'm not going to be able to cover all of the Mafia games out there that were made playable on the Java platform. So keep that in mind before commenting that I forgot a game. Ok, so the first game, Mafia 2 Mobile, is a great game for a Java game. It has free roam and feels like GTA, but set back in the, at the beginning of the 20th century. You can steal cars, punch people, use guns, and the side of the free roam, which is the best part of the game, you also get 12 missions. That feel kinda sloppy. Targeting is bad, especially when shooting, but I'm still glad that the missions are there. I mean, they give purpose to the game. Overall, it's a really great game for the free room part. The missions feel kinda sloppy, but at least the game has a big replay value due to its free room. Mafia Wars is a good start for the series. I could compare the gameplay to Age of Zombies. The whole game is a long one hour mission. You don't get different weapons, nor get to see a different setting, you shoot all of the enemies on sight in a big location. The controls are a little finicky, you move only in 4 directions and enemies are coming from an angle and it can get finicky to shoot those type of enemies. But don't worry, the controls aren't that bothersome, I'm just saying that they don't feel spot on. In rest, the game is pretty good. And I've made a mistake. Mafia Wars isn't the start of the series, it's actually Mafia Wars New York. It's a more polished game than Mafia Wars Semua, but my version was unplayable. The game follows multiple missions and the worst part about the game is the gameplay. This is an isometric shooter. You can move only in 4 directions and the enemies come in angles. And unless you align the character perfectly, you won't damage the enemy. But guess what? The enemy, even if it's not aligned perfectly with your character, can shoot you in an angle. And this is ridiculous. It's like you are trapped in a 2D world while the enemy sees things and can target things in 3D. And this makes the game almost unplayable. I say almost because you can still play it, but with lots of anger and frustration. But watching the game on YouTube, I found out that there are people who are playing the game and it seems that the targeting system works in their version, so maybe it's just my version that was faulty and that's why I couldn't target the enemies. There are also some GTA-like car sections in the game and in my opinion if they would have made a GTA clone with better shooting mechanics and free roam like this, it would have been one of the biggest and most successful Java games on the platform. And no matter which version I tried, it was either unplayable because it was frustratingly difficult, or the game was broken. Scarlotti's Mafia Wars 2 is the sequel to Mafia Wars New York. The game is more polished and is more action packed. And you now get enemies that throw molotovs at you. In Rust, the gameplay is similar to Mafia Wars Sumea, and essentially it's like that game, but better. It uses the same core mechanics, while also having some new twists in gameplay, like, like planting dynamite and running before the fuse goes off, enemies that throw stuff at you. And the game is also more polished, and is great. Mafia Wars 3 Yakuza is the third installment in the franchise. The game improves upon the first games, and this time you get two types of attacks. You have gun attacks and sword attacks. You get boss battles, and the game felt even more action packed and exciting. Crime Files 3 The Mafia's War is a point and click detective game. If you've played other games of this sort, you know the drill. You select from what's on screen, gather evidence, talk to people. In the game you have to find out why the Dockers gang terrorizes the entire city. And as I said, it's a detective game. You find out clues, 
by selecting the options you have on screen. If you're into this type of games, then go for it. The Academy of Mafia 2 is a really bad driving game. The controls are sloppy and the gameplay is uninteresting. It doesn't get varied, you just have to drive to the highlighted zones in some sloppy controls. Mafia Driver Chinatown has the same principle of driving around and this one too has sloppy controls, but I have to admit that it's better executed and the art style is really attractive. Also the game has a follow up too, Mafia Driver New York is the same as Mafia Driver Chinatown, only this time you get different levels, just like the title says. Now you get more New York like levels instead of Chinatown levels. The controls are hard, so I don't know if the game was purposely made to be frustrating or tough, or the game actually has bad controls, I can't really tell. Mafia Driver Revenge is this game. The video is self-explanatory. You have to avoid traffic, the frame rate was really choppy on my part, but even when the frame rate was okay, the game still was sloppy. It's playable and you can have fun with it. But since there are better games of this genre on the Java platform, I suggest you have those games, those better games on your phone rather than this title. Mafia Rush is this basic looking game and the looks show the content of the game too. It's basic. What you see now in the video is all you do. You shoot soldiers while covering behind the car. The mechanics are fun, but since this is all you do, the game gets more and more boring the more you play it. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.